We're in recess here in the first day of the jury selection for the six defendants here in Nevada. Here's a handful of the supporters that are down here. They've been coming and going. We also got Skipper here. <laughs> Things are looking real good today. I'll switch this camera back around here and talk to you guys. So things are going real good down here so far this morning. We've uh, got rid of about, um, relieved about 30 um, potential jurors off the uh, case this morning. We have about 42 that are being questioned as of yet. Four of the defendants, including Todd Engel, have been asking the jurors questions uh, to see if they still qualify. But Todd Engel is representing himself in this trial and he's done really well. The, uh, each one of the defendants are getting about 15 minutes to uh, ask the potential jurors questions. And um, so far, every one of the jurors here, it's been totally an opposite reverse of Portland. These jurors, lots of them know the Constitution. They say they all uphold the Constitution. They know that they have a First and a Second Amendment right to either peacefully protest and carry arms. It's uh, doing really good. I uh, am really impressed. I think the others are really impressed also. Um, they're doing good. We um, Most of the jurors that have been dismissed, the majority of them were dismissed because of uh, financial difficulties, family, work, medical issues. There were a couple that were dismissed that were obviously biased. One of them was actually a friend of the Bundys that... Um, he admitted that he'd known all of the Bundy family for a long time, but he felt that um, he ought to tell the court, and so he was dismissed because of that. There were a couple that were biased uh, against the Bundys and the families and the people here, but overall we've had a really good section, uh, good, good, good jurors, that potential jurors here. Uh, one of the things that has differed here, the jurors have even, the potential jurors have even mingled with us today. Come down and ask us questions. They have, um, they, they, they're, they're not actually hidden and escor escorted in like they were there in Portland. Portland, the jurors were hid from us. They, uh, we didn't know who they were. They kind of went into the room and they exited the building, hiding, uh, so that we didn't actually get to talk to them. We even rode down in the elevator with some of these potential jurors. We obviously didn't ask questions or didn't talk to them or mingle that, that away with them. We don't want to tamper with the jurors, but we, um, we, we are mingling with them here. We have a lot of Homeland Security today, a lot of marshals. There's about uh, 10 to 12 marshals at any given time in the room, in the courtroom itself, and another half a dozen or so outside the courtroom. We've got Metro Police down here today providing security. The counter protesters have already left. They stayed for a couple of hours and um, took off. They didn't stay around. So um, they didn't like it when we tried to educate them. They didn't like them when we, yeah. Skipper said they didn't like it when we tried to educate them. The two, there was only three actually counter protesters. We were told there was dozens of them, but there was only three that showed up. Two of them didn't even really know why they were here. Uh, Mr. Suckling was the only one, and he obviously didn't know why he was here either. So he didn't want to be educated into the truth. So it was an awesome morning so far. We've got two more defense lawyers that they are going to have questions for the jurors when we go back up there. And um, the defense team will um, have 15 more minutes of questions to ask them. It almost looks like today or maybe early tomorrow we will have a jury seated. So we might get into opening arguments yet this week. That's not 100% yet, so we, um, we're just praying that that's the case. It's going along pretty good. One other good point of interest, 
Todd Ingalls representing himself. The prosecution had five objections to his line of questioning when he was asking the jurors question um, about if they should be a juror or not. Some of those questions were if they um, knew of the knew of the militia, had heard of any or supported any or was against any militia. The prosecution did not want that question answered. Todd Ingle. Um, also asked some questions such as uh, if they supported protesters, such as the women's rights to vote protest years ago, if they uh, would support protesters in giving blacks or coloreds rights to vote. And um, several other issues that he brought up about um, protesters that had protested peacefully or even turned into violence in the past. And Several of the jurors stated that they believe the government has made lots of mistakes in the past, passed lots of bad laws. These jurors get a lot of honks out here from, from uh, supporters, taxi cab drivers, truck drivers. It's been awesome out here today. This case is going to be great out here. This state, they're for ranchers, they're for the people's rights. And um, we're going to get it not guilty for these guys. These guys, these guys um, looked good today. They were all dressed in suits, all six of them. They um, looked like they had got cleaned up last night. And uh, all of them was all smiles. And you can see it's a serious situation, but they were glad for the supporters. This courtroom has a lot more room than Portland. Portland, we was lucky to get 30 people into the courtroom. Here, we're... You can get somewhere between 60, 50, 60 supporters. So it's pretty awesome that there's a, there's a lot of seating room. We did have the courtroom packed this day, but we have um, plenty of room for more people to show up. It's easy to get in and out of the courtroom. Phones are not welcome in the courtroom at all, but you can take drinks, um, water. That's pretty awesome. They didn't they didn't restrict that today. Portland did not allow us to have any water or drinks. They even, um, at one point in Portland, they got all of us out of the courtroom to, um, to um, pat us down to see if we had a, had a bag of Skittles in our pocket. <laughs> so up here, it's not that same stressful situation for all the supporters. So um, I think that's a pretty good update of what we got. If anybody has any questions, ask some questions here, and we'll try to answer a few of them if I'm missing something. But... Um, I really, really feel good about this. I feel good about the potential jurors that we're going to get. I, um, this is going to be a totally different case here in Nevada, and we're going to win another not guilty. I haven't got any news on none of the guys in um, Portland as of this morning. I know a few of them were uh, planning on pleading guilty to trespassing charges only, and that would have been Sean and Sandy Anderson. Dylan Anderson and Daryl Thorne. I understood that Daryl Thorne had changed his plea again and was not going to plead guilty, but I'm not 100% not sure if that's happened yet. I know he also missed his flight from Spokane over to Portland. So I'm, um, I'm, I've been praying for them. I know everybody down here has been praying for him too. Um, let me see if there's any questions. What's going on with Mumford's case? It's set for trial. So Mumford has three misdemeanor charges, and it's, he's set for trial sometime in, I think it's March, but don't get me wrong, I'm, some of these dates blend together, but it's either 1st of March or 1st of April. Dwayne is down there by himself, so um, I'll make some phone calls shortly and check on check on Dwayne and Jason Patrick and some of the guys down there. I'm. Don't know exactly what decisions were all made, but I know some of them were pleading guilty to trespassing charges. So it looks sounds like Kelly just made a report. I have had my phone off all morning. I've been in court, so I haven't got any updates from nobody just yet. I just came down out of the courtroom and came down here where everybody's standing along the street and giving you a quick update of what happened here. So probably later on the night, I'll know more. Daryl posted he will not accept a plea. So that's that's awesome news, I think. They're, them guys are not guilty. 
we can win another another not guilty verdict there also. Thanks, Robert Huffman. Good to see you here, brother. And yeah, we're praying for them all. Anna Brown needs to recluse herself off the case. That is exactly right. William Ferguson, Phil Ferguson ordered us a bunch of pizza down here. We want to tell him thank you. He had it ordered down here and he's feeding, I don't know, there's probably 30, 40 people down here. That's awesome. We really appreciate that, William Ferguson. It's great. There's a lot of people down here eating that pizza right now. They did get to shower and shave last night or early this morning. And uh, none of the guys were half, none of the guys wore shackles today. Um, so they didn't have any handcuffs on or feet cuffs, and they were all dressed in suits and they looked really good. There's, there you go, William. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for the pizza. Get, um, see some people from Michigan here. Sheriff Mack, I've seen a little video of Sheriff Mack and Chris Ann Hall. That brings me to another situation. Uh, they were asked, the, the jurors were asked a bunch of questions by the judge. Did they know Chris Ann Hall? She's not even part of this case that I know of, but they were they asked that question, and if they had known Chris Ann Hall, they were going to be removed from the jurors. Shauna Cox's name, Brianna Bundy, um, Michelle, Michelle Fiore, her name was mentioned. If um, I can see Michelle's name maybe mentioned because uh, she might be a potential witness in this case. But Chris Ann Hall, um, seems like they're picking out people that aren't even really involved in the case and asking the jurors if they know these people. Um, but um, no one seemed to know who she was, so nobody was kicked off the jury, the jury duty because of that. But a lot of names, they, they probably named off about 100 names, a lot of them I didn't even know. They did name off the 19 defendants and um, then a few of the wives, like Brianna Bundy was mentioned for some reason. Uh, Deb Sanders, it would be nice to see you down here tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Well, great great to have all the support we can, can get. Daryl Thorne didn't make it because of his flight issues. That's, that's what I've understood. Pete Santilli's trial will be 30 days after this trial is over with. Probably in April. We really don't have a good date yet. This trial potentially could last um, eight to ten weeks, we're told, but we're not 100% sure. It just depends on how this goes. Um, a lot of the jurors that, that got uh, relieved from duty here, they had that, in, they had that question because they don't, they don't think they can financially make it 10, 12 weeks, eight weeks. See if there's any other questions here. I'll turn the camera back around and we'll show you some of the people out here again. You're a veteran? Korean veteran. Let me shake your hand. Here's some of our people out here, the flags and signs. Some of them went to lunch. Okay. All right. Thank you for serving. Thank you for coming down by here.
like. But if we don't have that, it's no. Oh. So, well, anyway, thanks a lot to the cause. Thanks for serving our country. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Had a bypasser come by, a veteran, an Air Force veteran, and uh, he served our country honorably. He was mentioned uh, my last name, Lamb. Lamb uh, is a big part of this town. I do not know if I'm related. I'd like to check that out. But uh, I've heard that the, the, the Lamb that used to be a sheriff here was a good sheriff. Your sign. There we go. Free our patriots. We've got to get these boys home. It's scandalous. They miss Christmas. They miss fear of their lives. For nothing. They have no case. They have no case. This is tyranny. This is the Obama machine run amok. Donald Trump will change all this. We're going to get these boys home. This starts right here. Right here. Thank you. Thank you for coming down. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> Coming down. You don't have to calm down. <laughs> One other point of interest that um, that uh, was up there in the courtroom today, Judge Brown said if we had a miss or not Judge Brown, I'm sorry, that's Portland, Oregon. But, but uh, the judge on the stand today, she said that um, that if we had a mistrial, this trial would be possibly put off till next year, a year away from now. So I felt like it was kind of a threat. It was intimidation on the guys that tried to make this thing happen here this time. But we we do pray that it does not get a mistrial and go off put off till next year. That would be a total misinjustice. We will have another update again um, right after this tonight's uh, tonight about five o'clock. Whenever we get out of court, we'll have you another update. We know that we will get a not guilty here this time. We can see that. We got the not guilty sign, yep. Guaranteed. Todd did awesome. Todd did do awesome. He has some great questions for the jurors, too. Yep. Yes. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Remember us in our prayers down here this week. Remember the Oregon people in their prayers. And we will join you again here this evening and give you another update. An update here. God bless. Have a good day.